Hey everyone, Skytrack 13 Meteorologist Sean Ash with a midday forecast update. And as promised yesterday, uh, a wet, damp day for us here across central Indiana. And that will be the trend. This is what it looks like from our sky cam here in downtown Indy. Uh, you can see the haze, got some fog, we've got some areas of rain and cool temperatures at this hour. Low 40s, Lafayette, Kokomo. Rain has made a little farther north than uh, advertised yesterday, so that's why it's a wet day all the way up in our northern counties as well. Snow is dwindling for sure. We'll go down to our camera in Bloomfield. You can see the bare ground over there. Uh, we'll go up into Kokomo with the uh, weather bug camera and you can see it is certainly a foggy day and uh, areas of mist along with the showers here and we believe fog will be a story tonight into Wednesday morning uh, you see some of these uh, visibilities are getting down below a mile so I think that could be a problem as we head to the commute tomorrow morning here's what's shaking uh, area of low pressure down to our south is going to pinwheel up some more moisture and so uh, rain amounts that have been running at about a quarter inch may actually approach a half an inch for the southern cities, Bloomington, Bedford, uh, Mitchell, over toward North Vernon perhaps, maybe into Rushville and over into Connorsville. So lowland flooding is certainly a possibility this afternoon. Temperatures probably stay just below 50 in Indianapolis and may get a little warmer than that as we head uh, through uh, the southern parts of the state. I want to show you future track 13 terms of departure. We believe the rain will start to wind down west to east, give or take 4 or 5 o'clock, but the clouds and the mist and the fog will likely hang tough, and that's what's going to be our story as we go into the morning rush hour on Wednesday. And we are advertising and preaching patience tomorrow. It's likely going to be a very gray start, but we'll make up for it with some late day sunshine perhaps, and maybe enough to get us into the upper 50s, but it will be dependent on how much clearing we see in the afternoon. So. Uh, we're forecasting 56 for the high tomorrow. It could certainly be much cooler than that if we don't shed this low cloud deck that we're anticipating that will develop. Let's look ahead as we get down the road here. Uh, right now, Thursday looking like potentially our warmest day we've had since late November. We may be in the 60s, uh, but you'll see there uh, Louisville, Evansville. Here comes our next wave of rain, and that's going to set us up for a fairly wet day on Friday. So here's the uh, latest uh, updated SkyTrack 13 uh, seven day forecast now 56 for tomorrow 61. We'll look at the planner for Thursday. A chilly start as we believe will probably be in the lower 30s. The nice uh, mid afternoon in the mid 40s and pushing uh, 58 by 4 o'clock and highs that may get down uh, get up into the 60s. A wet day so you take the rain that we've had right now, which by 4 o'clock may push about uh, three quarters, or I should say about a half an inch of rain, and then we'll play into this next wave of rain. And that may put our two-day rain event totals over an inch. So even this weekend, we could be talking about some lowland flooding. But right now, we get through Saturday morning, the weekend not too shabby. 58 Saturday, 53 sunshine on Sunday, and then an even warmer pocket of air arriving on Monday with a high of 65. But much like spring weather, ups and downs, back to some cool stuff there for Tuesday. I'll have a complete update today at noon on WTHR. Hope to see you then. If not, go have a great day.